Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 25th going to the 31st. So the last week of December, the last week of the year. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's see what's going on for you guys in the week ahead, okay? All right. Already we have this lovely card here. I say lovely. Uh, it is an okay card, okay? It's quite neutral, so that's nice. <laughs> it's not good, it's not bad, it's just is what it is. Now, by the book is a card about being led somewhere. So whether that is you following um, like some sort of course, for example, you guys could be feeling like you need some guidance, all right? In this way that it does feel like the universe is starting to, to take you somewhere. So even if you feel lost, and for some of you, you might feel a bit lost um, because we have orphaned energy underneath that, feeling like things are not working out the way that you wanted to, feeling a bit abandoned or a bit left out, feeling a little bit um, as if the things that you really want are just not happening, or maybe you feel like you've lost some things lately, okay, or lost yourself for some of you. The by the book card is telling you that you are being guided somewhere, so even if even if you can't see anything on the horizon and things look a little bit dull or a little bit, you know, empty around you, on a very spiritual level, you are being led somewhere, all right, so this is a card about going by the book, following the leader here, following where your guidance is taking you, um, rather than going, you know, a bit crazy <laughs> this time, because um, you are this baby elephant here, um, and I feel like with whenever this card comes to life for me, this is an energy of like, ah, oh, this is boring, I'm gonna do my own thing, or I'm gonna go find it myself, like, you might be not really trusting, or there might be some temptation to not trust where you're being guided, and going on your own, you know, or taking a big risk, basically. This card said it's not, says it's not the right time to do that just yet, because things around you, there is nothing around you, basically, here. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's almost as if you are being led directly to where it is that you need to go, or where you desire to go for some, okay? So, going by the book, listen to people who, um, this could even be watching people online if something inspires you then it's about kind of following their footsteps um not to say that you can't create a path on your own at this time it's not about that it's by sticking to what you know works um this week because for some of you maybe um a lot of this disappointment or abandonment is kind of trying to go in a very untraditional route and i'm not saying that you know i'm just gonna leave that there uh, i'm gonna sneeze i'm so sorry <laughs> whoa <laughs> sorry Pisces oh my god in some traditions one sneeze is an omen um so there we go some of you might need to hear that uh bless me um but anyway yes this book does say you are being led somewhere or to seek some sort of mentor or guidance somewhere else okay if you are feeling a bit lost if you aren't quite sure try to do some sort of um try look into something this is a good card for studying it's by the book going by the book learning new things or seeking someone who inspires you and following their footsteps, all right? Could be quite good for you. Let's dive in a little bit more. For Pisces, please, spirit. Hello? <laughs> for Pisces, please. Ooh. Oh, that's quite a big one, to be honest with you. Especially given what has been going on. We've got power here. Now I'm hearing harnessing a power. Let me look at this. It's very beautiful. It's almost as if, like, very similar to that orphaned energy, you've been having a lot of chaos around you. The lightning kind of reminds me of the tower card, to be honest. Um, because, you know, it's divine intervention. These are very fated things that have been happening. A lot of chaos, a lot of, you know, a lot of stormy moments in your life if we want to say it as that but the power card coming through and the power element of it is like for some of you there is an, an, an awakening of this energy within you and i think it's coming from the chaos and coming from those stormy moments that you're really tapping into this power i'm almost seeing it like you know in the movies where you know, it's lightning and thunder, whatever, and all of a sudden the lightning kind of strikes something, and that leads to some, you know, that awakens something within the world, whatever the movie is, you know, whatever. It's almost like I'm seeing that lightning, fated situations, probably coming from rooted in chaos, I'm hearing, um, is kind of igniting something within you, 
whether it's an idea, whether it's just your power in general is starting to be ignited. Some sort of catalyst moment is happening for you guys within this week from some chaos. So this is where your power is going to come through. All right. Let's dive in. Let's dive into your tarot. Let's see an overall energy for you guys. What's going on for you guys within this week? All right, let's see. Especially your intuition, guys, by the way. Knight of Pentacles. So this is quite good in terms of slowly but surely moving forward. Okay, whenever that notification comes up, it usually is when I'm saying something quite important. So the Knight of Pentacles, you could be really trying to figure out what to do with the things that you have in your life. So this could be, again, studying something new. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady movement forward. So this is not a journey to be rushed. It may be something that takes a while, but it is something that's going to give you that throne at the end of the day and that stability and that legacy. So you could be working on things to do with that. Could also be, again, your finances. But because it's the Knight of Pentacles, this is you working things out. All right, so, and investing in things, experimenting with things is what I feel like here. You, I mean, if some of you, if you have been struggling in the department of finances or your career or your stability in general, I do see um, that there is going to be some sort of, um, I'm hearing something that invokes an idea within you or some sort of answer within you on directions. Ace of Pentacles, well, that's what I'm explaining. <laughs> this is a new beginning, a new investment, something that comes your way all right um I mean, maybe through something that you did or for some of you you might be feeling like oh, i don't have this to go down this route but all of a sudden it then comes into your life so it could be financial could be energy motivation like oh i don't have this but then boom you get given it and that is a really big sign by the way from the universe to tell you um that you're supposed to do that thing that you've thought about Okay, so you are being given a new beginning, a new stable beginning, a new seed to plant, a new idea to cultivate and grow, okay? Pisces, this could be really good in terms of your career, by the way. You're the two of swords as well, which is quite interesting. So having to make quite major decisions this week, I'm going to clarify these cards for you. Um, two of swords is needing to use your intuition, okay? You could be closing yourself off to things that just don't work for you. Um, let's, let's clarify, why is the two of swords here? Nine of Pentacles, all right, this is to do with your independence. You could be making some um, big decisions when it comes down to your savings. If there is something to invest in, for example, you might be considering using that. Let's clarify. Two of Swords, please. Mm. This is very interesting, and I'll tell you why. Because the buy the book card is very similar to traditions and beliefs and, and again obeying something higher than ourselves to ascend this is a very traditional path this is maybe you know for example this is very interesting because um hierophant ten of pentacles is a very committed very clear path and direction and, and one that actually the universe is asking for you to go into others of you you know or sorry not others of you there is a decision to be made about whether you want to do something alone or whether you want to do something as part of a community this is promising the ten of pentacles this is promising only the nine and in this case it almost feels like there's only so far that you can go on your own nothing wrong with that journey by the way at all and in fact sometimes they do push towards that um but in this case In this case, the by the book card is coming through. So I will say that they are kind of hinting more towards the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. So for some, that could actually be about being open to relationships and marriage or something like that. You got a lot of pentacles though, so it really is like kind of highlighting your financial and career life or your stability, okay? Your home, for example. So if that's the case, some of you might be just deciding, do I just want to, you know, go live in a... Uh, uh, what do they call it an RV <laughs> if I want to live in a caravan or something like there's something about your independence here which is a good card this is a good energy so regardless of what you choose completely up to you but the buy the book card comes in and says just make sure what you're choosing you've seen other people do before of course and, and follow their footprints follow their footsteps both of these are good cards to be honest but again 
if you're wanting commitment, if you're wanting something to look to, the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles will grant you a legacy of uh, success, okay? It's almost like a promise to your future self coming in, okay? I just want to get one more for the Nine of Pentacles, though. Like, this is about freedom and strength. So, again, either way, whatever decision that you make or being forced to make this week is completely fine either way. Strength in the Nine of Pentacles is that you are strong in your own self. So, for some of you, it really is just kind of saying that, like, I don't know. To be honest, whatever you choose this week is completely fine. Um, there's strength within being on your own. I think you do have a very good balance of energy here. You're very sophisticated. You're very stable within yourself. So if you choose to go down that direction, completely fine. All right. Um, there is some fin financial freedom here. Um, for some, for some of you, this could be in starting your own career. By the way, whatever you choose, you could be getting like involved in like a a company or a company idea. Or, you know. People could be creating something and they want you in on it, okay? But you're like, mm, but maybe I want to do something by myself, though, instead. Whatever you choose, both are completely fine. We do have much more committed and traditional route, and it, that is something that grants a lot more, I say a lot more, a bit more than the Nine of Pentacles, if it's financial or if it's stability-wise, whatever. Whatever it is that you desire, I think that should be the one that you choose. If you desire freedom and independence and being on your own, then that's completely fine. If you desire structure and and um, and a legacy and you know um, negotiation or whatever with the hierophant, there's a lot more commitment, a lot more ascension on that side. Okay, so whatever you choose is really up to you. There is no wrong answer though. It depends where your heart is calling you, where you feel guided. Anyway, let's see the recent past so that we can see what you guys have been going through lately. Ten of Swords, why you been going through some crap, guys? What's going on? This is a feeling of feeling defeated. A feeling of um, some sort of ending in your life. The moon, this is like very emotional stuff, okay? Maybe there were some secrets or things that were hidden. Or again, that sense of feeling lost in the past. So in the present energy, near the sun here with the moon, what that represents is that things that have been done in the dark behind your back or things that you've been unaware of have been coming to light for you. Maybe that is what's invoking the Ten of Swords, which again is an ending, ending of a cycle, but beginning of a new one. This can even be a part of yourself too. Um, meaning that a part of yourself has come to an end for a new you to come through, okay? It's a bit of like a major... Uh, I don't want to say that I'm saying I'm hearing ego death. So for some of you, maybe you something that you always, always thought this is who I am. This is always what I was supposed to do. That's changing. And that can bring about some pain and some uncertainty. Like maybe say, for example, I don't know, something happened and it meant that you could no longer do that thing. And then that comes, you know, a whole crashing down. I thought I was meant to be with that person. And I thought I was supposed to do that thing forever, you know ten of swords or be that person i thought i was always supposed to be that person whatever it is ten of swords something's coming to an end um the moon a lot of deep emotion coming up with that energy but the sun is here which is great that means whatever is done in the dark comes to light whatever has been unclear and emotional and the feeling of being lost it finally makes sense and it has been lately okay it's very recently because you have this mixture of energies in your recent past so only 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 recently Something's being, like the sun is starting to shine. Something is being made a bit clearer lately. And in your current energy this week, a lot of stability is coming through. So whatever that energy is, you will be healing it. You do have a big decision to make. Um, considering, um, regarding your career, your stability, maybe your home, whatever it is for you guys. All right, in the near future, okay? Near future, please, for Pisces. Six of Pentacles. Uh, this is you kind of focusing a lot, again, on your work or your routines and what it is that you do on a daily basis. Six of Pentacles speaks of what you give your energy to, you know, comes back to you. If it's something that, you know, gives back to you, be careful that you're not giving to things that don't pay off for you. Whether it's bad habits or people who might be trying to take advantage of what it is that you have to give or whatever it is, this card says here that what you focus on will grow regardless of what it is okay like if it's 
If it's negative stuff, then we're going to grow in that area. We're going to get a bit sapped into... If we're feeding, you know, for example, just a very quick example, like negative feelings, negative emotions, if we're focusing on just that, that's the only thing that's going to grow, it's going to get bigger, we're going to find more things to be upset about and angry about, six pentacles, yeah, someone needed to hear that, if we focus on things that we can do or the things that we can build on, good emotions or things in your life, that's really where your energy will go towards, make sure you have a really good balance of personal life and work life, because this again is very important and also this is a really um important card for health as well make sure that you're giving to things or doing things that are good for your health okay and eating things or drinking things that are good for your health okay you could be making some um, big decisions to change that or bring balance to those areas of your life as well all right in the future four of cups is interesting i'll clarify that the five of swords okie dokie let's clarify this six of pentacles Six of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands is really good. There could be some really good news coming through in terms of your work life again. So that area of your life looks really good. Some transformation because we do have the butterflies here. But, um, this energy says that you're moving in the positive direction in this area of your life. Okay, so whether it's health, career, your focus and your daily routines, that's very beautiful. And the Eights, by the way, you know, the notification again, the eights here represent the fact that what you put your energy into brings about those changes, okay, so if you're putting um, energy towards, you know, good change, good change comes back to you, okay, that's the energy I'm feeling for you guys, what's the four of cups here for, temperance, I feel like this is more about like taking some time out to rebalance your emotions is quite important, usually the four of cups is kind of like a closed off or a rejecting energy of like rejecting things that come your way um i feel like when it comes down to love or when it comes down to your emotions you're learning to balance those before acting on it all right you are kind of i feel like some of you are really kind of cultivating an imagination as well so that could be beneficial to you um because this is very piscean energy of like using your imagination and getting creative with that and that uh temperance card is balancing those cups here as well so i feel like you'll be becoming balanced within yourself um before moving forward emotionally anyways okay and the five of swords five of swords is usually about conflict um and defeat in some argument for example could be dealing with a virgo here pisces but this is you kind of looking at conflict in your life from a different perspective okay maybe not engaging in something or learning lessons from people who you may have had to walk away from or people who've walked away from you clarify this there might be some argument or disappointment that kind of brings about some sort of new awareness all right three of cups here spilt represents things um something that made you happy is not making you happy anymore has been ruined whatever but you do have two cups here which again the angels are trying to balance for you so whatever you have lost don't worry too much especially if you feel like something didn't work out in your favor the higher sorry the hermit here says that you know look at this from a higher perspective there is a lesson to learn from this all right and instead of worrying about the negatives of it try to think about what it is that you can use from that situation what you can gain from it what you can do with that energy what's the five of swords about there oops the magician Again, this is the alchemist, to be honest. So maybe some of you have been dealing with like manipulative energies here. Um, the hermit, the magician, again, very strong Virgo um, energy. This is also Gemini. This feels like the ha the hermit here is kind of trying to shine a light again on things that needed to change are changing. Um, and with the magician, it's about being an alchemist. It's about using what you have left. You may not have a lot from a situation, um, whatever it is. This is saying here that you can still create whatever reality you want and desire for yourself with what it is that you have, okay? All right, my angels, let's grab you some extra cards. This is, again, very similar to understanding your power. It's through disappointment, it's through defeat that we actually recognize who we are, all right, and who we're not either as well. So, you know, a situation may have not gone in your favor or may not in the near future, all right? Again, it's not anything to do with the decision that you're making now, so don't worry about it. It may mean, again, in terms of, like, 
I mean, you could just be reflecting on it, to be honest, with that hermit energy, whatever it is. Um, the magician here says that you can always start again. You can always, you know, the hermit and the magician tells me that for some of you, you might actually be sharing your story and that's where your power comes in. Or some of you are manifesting power through defeat. And that's what the alchemist is. It's turning those negative emotions and that sadness into something that fuels your um, fuels your passions, for example. You know, some sometimes people who go through breakups are the ones that end up, you know, like changing their lives because it's like, I'm not gonna let that define me ever again. You know, sometimes you have to hit the bottom to come up to the top, is what they say. So Let's get some random messages for you guys this week. You have, you will be shown the way. So again, that feeling of being lost, you will be guided here, guys. You have happiness coming through for you guys this week, which is amazing. An exciting event happening this week as well. Okay. A compliments from an admirer. Someone new is entering your life. This could be a man. And just dealing with a financial pinch at the moment. That feels like it will resolve itself, okay? With the work that you're doing and the decisions that you're making, okay? My angels, I'm going to love you and leave you. I wish you guys all the best. I hope you guys have an incredible week. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you let me know down below how it resonated for you guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right?